the sheep. My little baby sheep. So this headpiece is one piece and then the ears go in, that little pink of the ears goes in there. And as you can see, it did not extrude very well. So I'm going to fix that. But for my purposes, I'm just working with it. <laughs> like, this is what I have. This is what I am going to make work. Now, this is also, I wanted a darker face, but this was the only soap dough color I had in a kind of gold, light gold beige color. So I was stuck with this one, which doesn't give a whole lot of contrast with the white. Um, so I might actually do a mica dusting or coating it before I put attach the pieces. We'll see. Uh, right now I am trying to just, I don't know if you can see. Basically I'm sliding the little earpiece into the grooves that I have. I'm missing portions. I'm going to just take some extra and I will wrap it around that, but for now, just trying to get this in. Okay, so I extruded some extra just so I could take the ear off and use it on the places I'm missing. So with this, you just have to find the right side and direction. Okay, so there you go. So that's how this goes together. I said that face is really light. I don't know. I did put a mic outline. I don't know if that's going to be the right move or not, but it's done. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and attach the head. And just gonna gently push that in place. it in just like that. Since I coated the top, I'm going to coat the bottom. You don't have to do this. Like I said, I just, my face and the body were so, are so similar in color. I just want to make sure that there's some definition between the two so that the face doesn't get lost. Again, I don't even know if I need this or not, but I'm trying. <laughs> See what happens. At worst, we discover that it doesn't look that great and I don't do it next time. Yeah. It's just again just gently squeeze right in like these two pieces should meet up at the ear on both sides. You just flip it over and Gently squeeze. And then just find the side. 
right, let's patch. But the feet should fit into each fit. Each foot should fit into a groove. You just kind of want to center it. So that's why I lay them out first to make sure. Okay. That's where those will go. And so I'll just, again, just paint it with the water and then put them on. Ears are again a little misshapen because of the extrude wasn't perfect, but that's your sheep. Isn't it adorable? Ignore the drag of the mica line. So yeah, there you have it. Um, I don't think this one's excessively hard to put together. It's just the ears are probably the trickiest part.
I like this one so much more. I do wish I'd put the black along the edges too because the ears get a little lost like you can't see it but there's actually that's ear and that's ear but they kind of blend in with the pink but that's okay. I still think it's cute. This is the piece that I didn't add the black to. I don't know, I like both. I think I'd be fine with either way. You do get a little bit of drag lines on the black, but I, I'm, like I said, I like both of them. I am so happy with this ombre. Like, when I was doing this, I honestly, I didn't think it was coming out quite that subtle, but it is. And the sheep stands out. <laughs> I was so afraid to do pink because I didn't think the sheep would stand out enough with the white to pink. Um, but it does, and it's cute, and I'm really happy. Um, I'm, I'm so glad that I redid this soap after the first one that got... <sighs> it's not messed up. The soap is still perfectly fine, but it did not meet my standards and I was not happy with with just how things went so this one is so much better I am so much happier with it that I am glad I redid it isn't it cute I just love this sh this sheep it just makes me smile uh so cute anyways let me know what you think The sheep moved over. I knew it was. Like I tried to move it back and <laughs> it wasn't having any of it. You start to see a subtle gradient and then it's basically all the same color because it was just so thick. I was just done. I was like, this is, it's not, it just, I wasn't going to get anything more than this. My beautiful blue green that's not my color I started with man did this fragrance like I put it in and it just changed the 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 blue green I had right off and it did not go back at all it is just the same as when I added the fragrance so I mean in the big scheme of things this is actually not awful like I don't think anyone would know things went wrong unless I said so. But it's just frustrating that the fragrance discolored, then it riced, and I had to stick blend it so much to get the ricing out that it just got too thick to really do the, the ombre that I wanted. So, yeah, not the end of the world, but not exactly what I was going for.